Good morning. It's day seven of the great calf adventure. We're going to up their morning feeding to two quarts instead of one, and we're trying to be quiet and sneaky because we're going to give the kids a day off. <laughs> Come on, Artemis. Come on, baby. Come on. You got him? Whew, that is smelly in there. <laughs> yeah. You have to clean that out. The colostrum poo is so sweet and nice. It's starting to smell more like a cow poo. <laughs> yeah. Cow poo now? Yes. We have one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, I count seven birds out already before opening the gate. I call them the brats. I think it's awesome. He's shaking a little. Yours. Yeah. Like he's cold? Yeah. I mean, compared to her, she's not. Yeah, I'm worried about him. I am too. He's probably gone through half of this already. She's almost done. <laughs> Crazy. Bernard says good morning. <laughs> I like that rooster. <laughs> we are worried a little bit about Apollo's poop. It's a little bit runnier. I, I mean, he's got someone's bum. I don't know, but all cows have poop on their bum. Hey, this chicken wants a piece of your pie. <laughs> looking at that milk slobber. Mmm. <laughs> She's done. <laughs> she still wants more. Okay, get her uh, yeah. back in. Let's lure her back in with her empty bottle. Yeah, keep her on it until she gets in. Come on. Good idea. Come on. Good job. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, such a pretty morning! So we're gonna try uh, dehorning the calves. We've got we've got some balm and dehorning paste, and we're gonna see how this goes. I think what I'm gonna do is. Do it inside here. Okay, so we've got some electrolytes that we want to feed each of them, and we're gonna feed them <laughs> while we do the disbudding. Hopefully, it distracts them, makes it easier for us. So, all right, get her to swing her butt in this way. You're okay. Instructor. <sighs> Missy, can you hold the bottle? And Mom can hold the head. So we gotta take the hair off around the Bud. buds. Mm -hmm. Why are you sitting on the bus? Why are you sitting on the Dad. Dad's riding a cow. Yeah. And we just want to do... Dad, why are you sitting... Alright, Emma. Hmm? Balm. Do you want to hurry and shave both sides while she's... That's a great idea. Never mind, Emma. Okay, she's gonna be done with that way too soon. Yep, but the shaving is the hardest, I think. He, the, the boy doesn't like that. 
This is medicine. the girl. The girl doesn't like the medicine. Yes, she does. The girl awesome. likes the medicine because, oh, the boy likes Mom? the phone here. Do you want me to do it with my finger? Sure. No, don't do it. We just need it in the ring, the hair ring around. I don't want it. Mommy, this is basically why, where you don't want it to burn. Why I don't want to have to redo this. So, do you have a clean finger? You got plenty of balm. Yeah. I like the. Just get it off the area. I like the mom. I like the wagon tail. I like the wagon tail. It's all gone. Okay. That's okay if she sucks on it. Keeps her busy. Hold that, Sam. That. Um, it's very dangerous stuff, and Sammy's good at being responsible with dangerous things. Oh, I need you to hold her head still. Why? Hold this, hold Sammy. Can I hold it? And can you stand over here? Why I can't hold her ears? Why I can't hold that ears? Sarah, just be quiet for a minute, please. That's good. No, He's baby girl cat doesn't like that. That face. Mm. 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 What burn your okay. love? Okay. Let her out. Another <laughs> boy <laughs> one. All right, done with the ball. Thank you, Sam. I can't. Hold him. Thank you. All right, this is where I need his head. Head held really tight. Okay, hold still. Okay. Where is the button? Okay, don't let him rub it on, let him out, uh, I guess we gotta keep him in here. So everybody get out and keep the cow in here. Sam, don't let that touch anything. All right, so I'm coming out to check on the calves, see how they're doing, Artemis and Apollo. We got the, uh, we got the um, dehorner applied to them and uh, it's been a few hours now and to separate them so they don't rub that stuff on each other and uh, just want to see how they're doing it doesn't it looks I don't know it doesn't look too great to me but here's Artemis she's been outside the whole time hey sweet little girl yeah you remember my, the pain I caused you before I'm sorry Hate to see animals in pain or any kind of anguish, but long term, but long term, I think uh, it's for their own good, for their own safety, and for ours. I just really don't want these calves to get dehydrated and her being out here in the sun the whole time can't be good for that so we did feed him a bunch of electrolytes while we were doing the the nasty deed there's Apollo how are you doing buddy you okay Still wet a little bit, a little raw. I hope he's okay. I hope we did the right thing. Time will tell. I'm sure it's okay. <laughs> I'm being dramatic. I've, you know, you just, I mean, millions of people have done this before me and you know, I didn't do the greatest job. I tried to do the best I could at keeping it contained in that area and I put salve around any around the surrounding area so it wouldn't burn but you never know I 
I so I just don't want to see them in any more pain than they have to be so we'll see how they're doing in a little bit tonight when we come back out to feed them they're just not as energetic as they've been I know this must be traumatic for them so I think I'm gonna go in grab some water in the bottles and just get some water in them and uh, hopefully that helps and tides them over until feeding time Man, I feel bad for him. So there's 14 eggs out of 15 chickens. Wow. <laughs> Happy day. Yes. to kind of get him on his legs there. smaller of the two twins and mm -hmm. is she laying down in there uh, yep she's laying right where he was um would we feel like we get some straw to put down nope. Make a nice bed for him. Yep. he's definitely weaker of the two and uh weaker than normal i had to basically pull him up off of his bedding in there and and uh, get him to come out and feed. He fed really well, which is good. It's just water. Um, I know that they're in pain. I can tell just by how they're moving and, and acting, but I hope it ends soon. I kind of wonder if the burning would have been quicker and better for him, but you live and learn, right? So we'll keep a close eye on him. We're gonna feed him another thing of uh, electrolytes tonight with his feeding and just kind of help give him a boost that he needs. I hope he'll be okay. Well, it's day, it's the end of day seven on the Great Calf Adventure. Uh, Apollo appears to be sick. He's got diarrhea. He's just not moving around much. So we're really concerned about him. We are. But we're attached. We're attached to these cute calves. And this is, this is emotional. You know, we, we have um, some information under our belt as to what to do. Um, so I appreciate your input. Thanks for joining us and we'll keep you posted on th how things are going.